Hey everyone, happy new year. Today I wanted to show you all some of the amazing gifts that I got this past Christmas holiday season. Now these gifts were from my mother. I'm so grateful that she was so excited and she got me some really, really cute things. Um, some of it I was not expecting, so I'm very happy. And then we're gonna do a little bit of a makeover restoration on one of these gifts at the end of the video. So yeah, I hope everyone had an amazing New Year's and an amazing holiday and December and 2023 in general and um, yeah if you're new here definitely check out more of my videos I'm a, an adult doll collector obviously I love celebrity dolls I love Barbie Mattel MGA brats anything and everything really so definitely check out more of my stuff I love doing makeovers restorations unboxings all that stuff so definitely subscribe and um, yeah Anyways, let's get on with this little haul. So first, my mom got me these adorable little Barbie um, accessories, like shoes and other things, like these star-shaped sunglasses, these necklaces, bracelets, a mask, those boots, that purse. This is so cute. I've never seen this before. There's a belt in here too. This is from 2022 or 2021. The box or the, the back says, 2021. I think this is so adorable. And then we also have um, these shoes right here. And this one has this little shoe rack, which is so cute. I love it so much. This one is from 2022 or 2023, I think also. And these are so cute. I love it. I love it so much. And then I got, very lucky, I'd been looking for her forever rollerblading, inline skating, whatever you want to call her, Barbie from the Barbie movie. And yeah, I was looking for her like ever since she came out and she was nowhere to be found until all of a sudden my mom found her on Walmart. And so my mom got me two. She got me one to display in the box and one to take out of the box because she knows I love to do that. So I'm so grateful. This is my favorite Barbie the movie doll that was released. I also really love the um, the Western one. I love the pink Western Barbie too. And I like the Kens also, but she's just so, so cute. Now I think, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like this one, her hair is a little bit longer than this one. I could be totally wrong but I'm just so excited. So yeah, I definitely, in a future video, will be unboxing this one. And I, I think I have an idea of um, maybe a little makeover that we could give her. Just some, some fun little hair restyles. So I'm very excited for that. Let me know if you have any Barbie the Movie dolls. Um, they are so great, I would love more. And then I also got this. I have never had a na 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 surprise doll until now. So my mom found this for me and we like she, I, I think this is the cutest thing. This is so cute. My mom found her for me. She, so, she showed me a picture and I was like, yes, she's so, so cute. I love the sleepover theme. Like that sleeping bag is so adorable. And again, I never had a na 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 surprise doll and I, at, at first, I I wasn't sure how I, how I would feel about like the cloth material um, and them not just being like a hard plastic doll, um, like all my other dolls are. But after seeing this, I really, really like her. She's so cute. And yeah, I'm excited. I will definitely be opening this in a future video. And yes, 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 yes. She's so, so cute. I really, really like this sleepover theme. And then, what surprised me the most is this adorable little cat playset Barbie. I had no Kitty Condo is what it's called. Kitty Condo. I've never seen this before. This came out in like 2021, maybe 2022, and I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this little playset. The little like cat condo structure is so cute, and the tiny little cats and the the little yarn so adorable now i think she i think she has a little bit of a wonky eye um oops yeah I, I think she has a little bit of like wonky eye maybe her eyes were like slightly misprinted but she could be a great candidate 
for someone for me to practice doing um, some repaints on? I don't know. Um, but honestly, like, I'm, I'm just so excited about the little cat structure. Like, this is so, so cute. I'm so excited for this. I was so surprised when I, uh, when my mom gave me this. Like, I was not expecting this, and it is so cute. So adorable. Those little cats and the little toys that you can use with them. So cute. Let me know if you have this. I think it's adorable. Okay, and then the last thing that we have is this, another Na 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 Surprise Teen doll, um, just like the other one, she was a Na 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 Surprise Teen. So here's another one, and my mom found her, um, my mom thrifted her, and I love this doll a lot. I also think she's so cute, her outfit is so detailed. However, obviously, as you can see, her hair is in desperate need of some help. Now, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous just because of the soft material fabric body. I'm afraid of getting the doll wet. I know that MGA, I think, tells us not to get these dolls wet and to only, like, spot treat where needed. So, yeah, we'll see. Because she's thrifted, I might try doing that. I might try doing a little bit of spot treatment, but mainly, um, we're just gonna be fixing up her hair. And fixing up her outfit just a little bit, her belt is a little bit broken. The Velcro got like detached from this part of the belt that's hanging down right there. So yeah, we, we need to fix that. So um, that's what we're gonna do today is give this doll a little bit of a makeover. She's so cute and I'm excited to see how she will turn out. So let's get started. Okay, so here's a closer look at the girl. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I don't think I want to worry too much about like cleaning the clothes uh, because I don't want any stitches to become loose. But yeah, we need to fix this belt because this Velcro right here is um, supposed to be attached to the other end of the belt. So we'll go ahead and we'll just sew that back on. That should be pretty easy. Even though this part is so cute, like this part doesn't need to be hidden by that belt, if you ask me. Anyways, yeah, these little buckles, or not buckles, but um, what's it called? Um, overalls are so cute and detailed. Um, they are not functional, obviously, but they're still so cute. She looks like she's ready to go like to Girl Scouts or something. That's the vibe that I'm getting from her. But yeah, okay, let's go ahead and let's just um, get her undressed and get her started with her little makeover. Okay, so I need to let you guys know I made a big mistake trying to um, do this like baking soda and water mixture spot treatment all over her body and this is what happened when dried. The baking soda just left this white cast, obviously because the baking soda settled into her fabric body. I don't know why I didn't think of that beforehand, but anyways, what I did to fix that is I used some distilled white vinegar and yeah, it. I, I think the vinegar helped to uh, dissolve the baking soda and get it to lift up out of her body. I had to like do this vinegar scrub like twice to get it really, really clean and back to normal. So yeah, warning, um, just be careful if you try to do any spot treatments on these dolls. Um, MGA does say not to use any chemicals or anything harsh, so that's why I thought like, okay, baking soda it should be gentle, but no, no. A baby wipe would have been fine to just, you know, gently scrub with a, a baby wipe would have been fine. So yeah, that, that was the mistake that I made. I wanted to show you guys. Let's move on. Let's continue with washing her hair. So for her hair, I just got obviously a bowl of some warm water, some blue Dawn dish soap. We're just gonna mix that together. And then we're going to um, put her hair in it. And I'm gonna try not to get the rest of her body wet. Um, yeah. And so then obviously I just rinsed out all of the, um, the soap out of her hair and I tried to let her hair dry a little bit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put some basic Amazon conditioner in her hair. I put so much conditioner in there, but uh, yeah, we will work that in, and then we're just gonna try to brush her hair, and oh my gosh, I've never seen a doll shed 
as badly as this doll did. And I tried so hard like to be as careful and gentle as possible. I was starting at the ends, working in sections, but it was nonstop. I, I was blown away. Um, I, yeah, yeah, but, but she has a lot of hair to begin with. And fortunately, you know, she's, she's fine. She's not bald. She's totally fine. But I was just shocked how much came out of her hair. So yeah. So then, um, I'm just, I'm going to rinse out all of the conditioner and, um, once her hair is nice and rinsed out, I gave it another comb through and then I'm going to just let her dry overnight. Now, before I do, I'm going to put a little bit of curl mousse in her hair just to see if it helps with the curls. Um, in hindsight though, I don't think it was really necessary because you can see right there, her curls are totally fine. They're all there. Her, her hair held and kept its natural shape totally fine before the mousse. I don't think the mousse really did much to add any curls, but whatever, whatever. I'm just, you know, trying it out to see. And then um, I'm going to do one more comb through to make sure that it's all evenly worked through her hair. And then I'm just going to um, let her dry overnight. I just put her on the edge of my table and let her head hang off so that way the hair is hanging and hopefully gets some volume as it dries. So I think she looks much better. Um, her hair is pretty much all dry and yeah, I can finally run this like uh, very, very wide tooth comb through it. This is what we're working with and yeah, I think it's, it's so much better. I'm not gonna bother to like try to uh, redo the curls because surprisingly her curls stayed in place very very well so I'm very happy about that um, it is it's a little wild but you know what it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it's all fine so yeah let's go ahead now let's get her dressed so I did off camera just fix this little belt moment very very quickly and easily and just sew this velcro back on so great, and then here's her shirt. So yeah, let's just get her dressed really quick. Okay, so that is our Na 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 surprise girl. And yeah, I think her hair came out pretty good. Um, I was just so shocked that it was shedding so much. But to be honest, I mean, her hair is still so thick. So I'm not that um, upset about it. She's still an amazing doll, gorgeous, very gorgeous. But yeah, if I mean, if you don't already own one, and if you do get one, I would just be very careful when you brush their hair. Um, I, I did post on, what's it called? Instagram and I asked some people if they had similar issues and it sounds like it is common for these dolls to, to shed um, more than most dolls. So I guess it's, it's a common, common thing. So I, I'm very glad that her, her hair really did a good job at holding its original shape and curls. So I think it's so much fun. Um, yeah, obviously she still has a lot of hair. Let's put her her little hat back on. Okay, so here's her, her little hat. And yeah, it's super cute. Oh my gosh, yeah, her hair is so bouncy. It's so much fun. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think about this doll and this makeover and all the other dolls and things that I showed. Let me know what you would like to see next. And I hope you all had an amazing 2023 and here's to an even better 2024. And I will see you next time. Bye.